In the past few years, Polaroid cameras have made a comeback. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a Polaroid camera. Big honking thing, prints out a photo instantly. I would say these photos have a very iconic look. Lots of contrast, grain, and usually a forward-facing flash. The very first thing that I learned when I took my first photo class was turn off your forward-facing flash. It just gives you really direct light, there's no shadows, it, it flattens out your subject. It's not that interesting. I think forward-facing flash photos have definitely made a comeback because of the Polaroid camera and that iconic look. For instance, the other day, Portia was giving a bath to my son Shiloh and she started taking photos. And naturally, the flash came on because it's kind of dark in the bathroom. But the results she got were really cool. And in editing, if you turn up the grain, make them look contrasty, Holy cow, they look like a stinking Polaroid camera look. The other day, Portia came up to me and said, I want to do a spooky photo shoot. And I was like, I'm down. Who's that? Is that mom? <gasps> oh, no. Whoa. Shiloh, are you it's scared? Mama. It's yeah. mom. Shy, it's okay. He's a little nervous. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. It's just mom. Oh. It's just mom. Oh, look, it's just mom. We got started. I set up a light. I started to do the classic lighting that I like, which is short lighting, moody lighting, and I was just like, this is just not getting what I want. Then, bing, light bulb, flash bulb. <laughs> I thought about this. I thought about a Polaroid camera and the type of lighting that you get from that. Portia and I were just about to quit, and I felt like, oh, I don't know, there's just one more setup I wanted to try. So usually you don't want to put your actor or actress right against the, a wall because it has a flat kind of look, but I've seen people do that with like kind of flash photography. Um, and I was like, well, maybe that would look cool in here. I don't have a flash, but I'll set my light up right against the wall and we'll see how it looks. And as you guys can tell, it worked out, man. In fact, those are some of my favorite photos of the whole shoot. So what I'm saying is new ideas will come to you and you just gotta go for them. And if no new ideas don't come to you, if no ideas come to you, then, uh, well, that's fine too. A lot of times what helps is if you're in a really dark scenario and then you turn on your flash and so then boom, it lightens up your subject and you get this cool kind of vintage look. Real quick, have you guys remembered to... You gotta be careful because he will come after you. It's happened to me. If you guys try this technique, tag me in your photos because I wanna see what you guys are doing. I want this channel to be a safe place for all creators. I don't care if you're making cakes, making photos, making paintings, making whatever. I want you guys to be able to come here and learn something and enjoy yourselves. And I wanna be a part of what you're creating as well. Guys, I will be completely straight up honest with you. This is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. I wanna make videos. I wanna encourage and inspire people to be creative. And that's what I'm doing here. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna show more support, please subscribe. If you want to show even more support, like you, you can leave a comment. And if you want to show even more support, um, 